This is code.org, and this is what do you think the program does. All right, students, keep in mind, when you enter your answer here, you'll finally be able to hit run. But once you hit run, you can't change your answer. So make sure you think about this. Understanding these, it will make your life so much easier. All right, so let's think about it. Let's take a look. What do I think it does? I'm going to first look at stuff I know, right? So we know we've seen this before. Painter, my painter equals new painter. That's a new painter object. This my painter object can now do everything the painter could do. So move and all of that. Cool. Now, this is interesting. I don't recognize that. So I'm just going to keep going here. My painter turn left. OK, so the painter must be turning around. We know they start up here in the top corner. Uh, how many times? Three times. So they turn right and then they move down, I guess. All right. Oh, yeah. And there's more of these. All right. So let's take a look. If my painter can move south. Well, this isn't like direct human speak. It's code. But let me read it again. If my painter can move south. That's almost a sentence. That's a question, right? So what I'm going to assume is occurring is we're asking the computer a question. We're checking some condition. And what we're asking the computer here is, hey, computer, can my painter move south, right? It's almost explicit here. I'm going to assume if the answer is yes, right? What if the computer says yes? Well, if the computer says yes, I bet then we'll run this code, right? Because I'm moving south in this chunk, right? Turning left, 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 since I start up here facing this way and moving down, I'm moving south. So my assumption here is that we're asking if we can move south because it only wants to run this if we can, right? If we can't, it's trying to prevent an error. Now, let me look at the next if. If my painter is on bucket, hmm, well, let's look what's going on here. My painter take paint. Ooh. So we could only take paint if we were, well, actually on the bucket. It would be a problem to attempt to take paint if we weren't. So again, I'm going to go ahead and assume that everything in these curly bracket things, right? Blup, blup. That little arrow just shows you what's contained will only happen if this is true. And these are called conditional statements, right? So these are all result. The inside of these need to result in a true or a false. A Boolean value is the fancy way. And so if these are true, the code runs. If it's not true, we're just going to skip over it. And it's a great way of preventing errors. So the computer will look if my painter is on bucket. And if the computer says, yep, true, your painter's on the bucket, it has to run these lines of code, which is great because we want to get the paint. If it is false, if for some reason we're not on the bucket, the computer is not allowed to run these lines of code, which is great because if we're not on a bucket, these lines of code would cause an error. So I'm going to bullet point this. Obviously, an answer should be complete sentences and your own words. But let me put down some of my thoughts. So this isn't perfect technical wording, but I want to be clear. I want to understand what's going on. I don't need, you know, the Harvard definition of this, right? So my thoughts were we create it or, or we create, comma, instantiate a painter object right there. We then ask the computer questions. Check the conditions is what I mean, right? This is a condition. We ask a question before doing action. And by action, we're talking about these methods in here. So we don't allow the execution of the methods of these actions of these behaviors without checking. This allows the painter to avoid errors because code inside the conditions, the if blocks will only run if it's true. We could get into more detail even if I can move, if I is on paint, and explain literally every step that's going to happen. But we have explained how the code executes. Let's check it out. Boom. Turn left. Move. It follows exactly all of the code in the ifs execute because all of these would result in true. Can we move at this point? We can. Can we move north? We keep going until we can't. Or we can we move north? We can. So we continue to progress. If statements are super helpful. Cool. Onward.